Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a turtle pencil holder for your desk in self-CAD. We will shape the body out of a cube with the extrude tool and we will sculpt it. Then use the shape generator and bevel and twist features to make the turtle shell to hold your pencils and pens. So first of all, we'll start by making a cube. This cube needs to have subdivisions in it so that we can extrude. You can see that it has three width segments. And that it also has five depth segments. We'll go ahead and make it 16 tall. And we'll go ahead and create our cube now. And we'll select our cube here. And we'll select mesh plus wireframe over here. So first of all, we want to round this cube out a little bit. Select your cube and then select edges. So we're going to move some of these edges around to make the cube a little rounder. First of all, we'll select the first two edges here, then we'll press M to move them. And we'll move them inwards. And we'll deselect them. And we'll do the same thing with the back two edges here. Deselect everything again. Select these two to move out. And when we're happy with how round the shape is, we'll begin the leg extrusions. So for this up here, we're going to select face. So now we're in face mode. Next, we're going to select the faces that we want to extrude. 
So we'll take these ones and we'll press M plus E to extrude them. And we will extrude them nine looks pretty good so we'll save that and then we'll extrude the legs on the other side we'll just turn the cube around make sure the back ones are deselected and we'll press M plus E again we'll extrude by nine again so that they match the other legs and then we're done Next, we'll click outside the shape to deselect everything again. Then we'll select the fronts of the legs we just created to extrude them out again. And press M plus E again. them to press the check mark. Now we're going to go into edge mode again so let's click on the edge up here again. Then we'll select all of the top edges of the feet we just created. and we'll move them down a little bit to shape the feet a little more. Okay, now that that's done, we're ready to make the tail. So we'll go back into face mode by selecting the face over there. Then we'll select the face in front of the tail. And we're going to make another extrusion by pressing by pressing M plus E. And we'll extrude the tail out. And then we'll finalize that extrusion. And we'll select the face at the very end of the tail. Then we're going to scale it. scale it in the sides and we'll also want it to tip down a little bit so we'll scale it down at the top too. And that looks pretty good. So we're ready to do the head now. So we're going to do an extrusion for the head. Make sure everything's deselected. We'll do M plus E to extrude the neck. We'll confirm that. Then we'll scale this with S. Okay, then we're going to extrude yet again. Do two more extrusions for the head. We'll confirm that. 
then we're going to scale it again. I'm going to use symmetry to get it to scale symmetrically on both sides. Then we'll turn symmetry off and have it come up more. And press M plus E. And we'll confirm that. And we'll scale the nose then again. We'll press image tree again while we turn it inwards. Then take symmetry off when we scale it downwards. And there's the shape of our turtle body. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to select the whole turtle. Next we're going to round the turtle. We'll press M plus R to round the turtle. I'm going to round it by 4. Next we're going to add the eyes. So for the eyes we're going to make a couple of spheres. the eye. We're going to press control C to copy the eye. Then we're going to move the new eye. When you're happy with where the eyes are placed, select everything. And we're going to do a T plus S to do stitch and scoop. We're going to do a union.